Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Ninja 14 cup dual brew coffee maker. This is model number CFP451. So I bought this renewed off of Amazon for $95. I think they sold this at Costco for a while, but it's getting a little harder to find, but again, 14 cups. Okay, so this is the 14 cup version of their dual brew system. This craft will hold 14 cups. It's a very nice craft. It's got a warming plate. We got a little tray that comes down. We can put our drink on there. Now up top, we've got this pot adapter. So we can do K-cups or a full pot of coffee. So if we want to do a K-cup, it's got three needles on the top, a needle on the bottom. You're going to put the K-cup in, close this, and we can do a brew. But let's take this out. So we go to remove. The pot adapter, this whole pot adapter comes out. Now this is the brew basket. The brew basket has to be in the whole time, either if you're doing K-cups or a full pot of coffee. But you're going to need a number four paper filter. So I got a number four cone paper filter. You can use a reusable filter, but it has to be the one from Ninja for this specific coffee maker. So you'll just put your number four cone filter in here like this. Then you're going to put your coffee grounds in here. Now this is the, the brew head when you do coffee grounds. You're going to slide this forward and it's going to activate the whole different side of this. Now we can do a full pot of coffee. Go up to classic brew. We can go a full pot of coffee, a half a pot, or we can do ounces, depending on how much coffee we put in here. Over here on the side, we got a built-in milk frother. Anytime you press this button, it's gonna froth. It's easy to clean up. You do have to heat the milk up in the microwave, but put it in that cup and froth it, it works really well. We got a measuring spoon here that's gonna work really well. And I love that our water tank is removable, so we can take this over there, fill it up, and clean it out if we have to. Now the water reservoir is fixed and it cannot be moved around back. Okay, so let's brew a K-cup. I'm gonna take the filter out. Let's put the filter, the K-cup pot adapter back in. Just set it in there and go to lock. Now when it's locked, I can lift this open. And you'll notice my display changes. Now it's on the K-cup side. When we got the, when we slide that filter or that uh, brew head forward, then it's on the bean, which is for a coffee maker. It switches the functionality of it. Okay, so let's put a K-cup in. Again, you're just gonna set it there. When I close it, it's gonna pierce the top and the bottom. So again, now I, these are ounces. You'll see the little ounce light is lit up. I can brew up to 12 ounces or all the way down to six, but I can also do a specialty brew. If I go down here to specialty, it's four ounces. You can't change it. That's to mimic an espresso. Runs a really small amount to make it a concentrated coffee for like a cappuccino or a latte. But I can do a classic, a rich, and an over ice. I'm gonna do just a classic and I'm gonna do, add, I brew mine on eight ounces. So select eight ounces. Make sure the drip stop is not closed. It won't, it won't brew. Make sure it's open and then just press that to start the brew. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. It's a very fast, it's a very quiet coffee maker too. There's where our coffee's coming out. I like that little tray that folds out. Okay, so let's check the temperature of the water coming out. Very, very hot. Be careful, 190. And there's like a little status lights going across to let you know the status of the brew. That's the case for any brew, even a full pot of coffee that'll walk across. Okay, so it's all done. Let's see how hot, 168, very hot cup of coffee. So I've been drinking the coffee out of here. It tastes really good. Okay, so let's take the cake up out. Just simply lift this up. There's how the cake up did. We're gonna lift it out, be careful it can be hot. Now let's take this pot adapter out, move this back to, and then move it out. Let's put our filter back in. Again, a number four cone filter. I'm gonna put one cup of tablespoon of coffee in for every cup I'm gonna brew. Now I'm gonna do 14. So the scoop that's provided with it for a full carafe, it says four to seven of the big scoops. Okay, so let's just put our coffee in there. Put it right there in the middle of the filter. I'm gonna put seven of these scoops. Okay, so I got my ground coffee in there. Now you gotta slide this forward and you'll see it's gonna activate the display. Now the bean is lit up and now I can rotate this. Let's do a full craft at a classic. So I had to retop off the water reservoir. Make sure your water reservoir is full. And again, I could do a rich over ice or a specialty brew. I'm gonna do the full. Make sure the drip stop is not, it's open and just press the start button. Okay, so we're gonna time it, do some temperature checks and see how long it takes and see how it tastes. 
So you can hear the pump right away. It starts brewing. We do have some coffee coming out the bottom. And again, you'll see like status. These little LEDs will walk across to let you know the status. I really like this display. Um, it, they are physical buttons, but it's just a very nice looking display. We do have a keep warm light. We can, so say the coffee maker will turn off automatically and it'll turn that warming plate off. But if you want to come and just heat that warming plate up, you can turn the warming plate back on. We can do a delay brew. It also has a clean function when it's time to descale. We can, we can descale it with that button. So right about the minute mark, we did get a pause. I heard, it, I heard the pump running, it was brewing, paused for about five to 10 seconds, and now the pump is kicked back on again. There is a warning LED right here to let you know that that warming plate is hot. Now the rich brew, um, it just takes a little bit longer to brew. It brews it a little bit slower. Over ice, that's, it's not gonna turn the warming plate on. So it's gonna brew at the same temperature um, it's just it's not going to turn the warming plate on so it won't melt the ice. The ice is going to melt from the hot coffee being put into it, but at least the warming plate won't be on. Specialty brew is always a four ounce brew. So you can even do a four ounce brew with coffee grounds for your cappuccino or latte. And at any time during this brew, I can go to drip stop that turns the brew off. I can grab a quick cup of coffee, put it back and, and go back to open and then it finishes the brew. That's a nice feature. And so there's the coffee. Okay, so it's about 186 coming out of the bottom of the filter basket. Okay, so we're coming up on the eight minute mark. It's got really quiet. We're really we're finishing up the status bars. Only got one status bar left to go. The coffee is still coming out. Now it will beep at us to let us know that it's done. But if you wanted to finish now, you could. You just go to close and it finishes, it stops the brew. Okay, so at the 10 minute mark, it beeps at us. I'm gonna to go to close, just so it doesn't drip anymore, and let's see how it pours. All right, the craft pours. Careful, it is kind of heavy with 14 cups in it. Pours really nice. Okay, so let's see how hot the coffee is. Careful, is oh, that's very hot, wow, 175. That's too hot to drink right now, but I have drank the coffee out of here. It tastes really good. Okay, so let's see how the coffee did up here. Be careful, there's gonna be some steam come out, but you can see it did not overflow the filter basket. When we wanna get rid of the coffee grounds, we can just take this over there. There is a plunger that's gonna stop it from dripping. Get rid of that. That filter basket is dishwasher safe. Okay, so this is a really nice coffee maker. I love the screen. The screen is the dual brew. It's not the dual brew pro screen, which is a touch screen, but this is still a really nice screen. That was a super fast 14 cups. Um, and I, I was curious if it was going to overflow the filter basket because it's got the same number four filter basket for, uh, you know, um, 12 cups as it does for 14 cups. And the same reusable filter fits. This is the same one for the 12 cup. So, and a number four cone filter is usually for just a 12 cup coffee maker, but it works really good in this 14 cup coffee maker. Super quiet, super fast. I'm just really excited about this coffee maker. I think it does a really good job. The craft is a little heavy with 14 cups, so be careful, but it does make a really nice coffee maker. One of the nicest features, so say it shuts down automatically, the, the warming plate's gonna stay on for about two hours. After that, you can come up here and hit the keep warm light and turn just the warming plate on. That's a, that's a feature you don't see on a lot of coffee makers. You can adjust the keep warm plate time and again, it does do rich over ice. The over ice, um, you're gonna fill the craft full of ice. You're gonna put a bunch of coffee in because you want a really concentrated coffee. But and then it's gonna brew um, about half the amount of water that you select. So if you, if you select the full craft, it only brews a half a craft, but it's, it's expecting to melt that ice and dilute it. And again, it doesn't turn the warming plate on. So for 90, this is $95 on Amazon right now. That's an, that's an incredible deal. The Dual Brew Pro, was retailing for over $200 when it first came out. So, But it's got a separate water dispenser. So the Dual Brew Pro's got a nice fancy touch screen, looks really similar, it's 12 cups. Has a switch here that, that you, can, you can switch between coffee or hot water. The hot water comes out in a separate dispenser. It bypasses all the coffee area. So you don't get any um, coffee taste in your hot water. So if you can hit the like button, there's a thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. That helps support my channel. I'll put a link to this in the show description notes. It will take you to Amazon where you can purchase it. Um, 
If you see, underneath the video, if you see the words called see more, click on it, it expands and it shows you the links. Also hit the subscribe button. I got lots of coffee maker reviews coming. I got uh, vacuum cleaners, robot vacuum cleaners. I'm super excited about Ninja products. I mean, I bought this one with my own money and this is my own video, so I'm really excited about it. I really appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe and thank you so much.